Now today I've decided that uh, it's about time I started smoothing a few prints and testing a few of the theories and uh, myths that uh, are on the internet. So I've chosen a couple of sort of little benchy sort of things, they're nothing spectacular but they should do the uh, job nicely for me. So we'll be coating these. And what I was thinking of doing is I heard that um, nail polish or nail varnish is a method of uh, smoothing. So I thought, oh well, I've got a couple of daughters and I've got plenty of uh, nail polish laying around so I'm sure they won't miss it. Now, that's all good and dandy as they say. I've also heard that uh, ethyl acetate is something you can smooth with which is based on a, uh, a nail polish remover. So of course, I've got a small bottle handy as you can see there. Okay, maybe a big bottle of it, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, we'll start, we'll have a bit of a go at it. What I'll be doing is, um, I'll probably leave the, I think the X, we'll leave the X axis on this for the ethyl acetate and I'll paint the other surfaces with the actual um, nail polish or nail varnish and we'll see what the finish is going to be like. Now I'll, I'll run my finger over it, fingernail, and you can hear that we've got definite sort of scratching sound on all the uh, all the little axi there so we know that that's pretty rough so we'll give it a go let's let's start the thing i like about nail polish of course is the fact that it's got a uh, <laughs> built-in brush well i suppose i should shake it first give it a bit of a bit of a shake god only knows what it's going to come out like i'm uh, not very good at this sort of stuff so let's see okay oh yeah interesting color And uh, there we go. Maybe a bit more up there. Stick a little bit more on it. Give it a good dose or good coverage or whatever you want to call it. And there we are. I'll let that dry a little bit there. And, uh, I'm sure you don't really want to watch me paint each of these surfaces um, but you're going to watch me anyway so <laughs> bad luck as they say we're going with this one's a gold now I'm going to um, put a bit of ethyl acetate on the uh, other side of the benchy use a paintbrush and dip it and see if uh, it makes any difference I'll just give it a Liberal coating, as they say. Well, the first thing I can say is we're getting a chemical reaction. It's turning white. <laughs> so, that's interesting. I'll paint half up here. Next to the clear... Uh, nail polish, okay, so that can go back there for the moment and this other piece here, we should have one little area which was the X and there it is, so we'll paint that with a bit of ethyl acetate now I hear you guys saying and girls um, why don't I use a vapor bath, well I intend to but first up I just want to see what the reaction is going to be with the PLA, so we'll pop that down there and let that uh, dry a little bit and we'll come back and have a, another look in a few seconds okay a few minutes have gone by, let's have a bit of a look oh, wow the um, ethyl acetate has uh, turned the plastic white and you can hear it's definitely still scratchy And the, uh, it doesn't really make much difference. The nail polish, basically the same sort of thing. It really hasn't done much. A little bit smoother on that one, perhaps. But the others, nah, exactly the same. So, hmm, so far that is a total 100% fail. Let's have another good look at this. Oh yeah, she's, <laughs> ethyl acetate has done wonders on this. Um... 
and as you can hear still scratchy as all heck there's that nail polish yeah, it really didn't nah really hasn't done anything so nail polish painting it on all it does puts a pretty coat over the top of it ethyl acetate well there's a chemical reaction here so that's uh, that's interesting um, but it really hasn't hasn't done anything it's it's still rough as all heck now I picked up a uh, little spare cube I've got laying around I've got a few of these when I printed them out earlier and this one will be the uh, raw test for ethyl acetate vapors the other two prints that I've already made these ones I'll pop them in as well and we'll see whether anything <laughs> happens I mean look at that uh, yeah that's that's not a good look that's for certain the other side is quite interesting and nail polish gives a very um, very nice painted effect but still rough as uh, bilio so we'll test it out now I'm not going to do this indoors because I don't fancy having vapors in the house so I'll do this outside okay I've moved outside and uh, let's have a bit of a look that's the uh, little benchy as you can see the uh, sides so we'll be checking that out shortly we've got the other one here with the nail polish on it and the ethyl acetate and we've got one with nothing no coating whatsoever on it so we'll start now I'll grab my little container here I'll position it so it's in the middle we've got boiling water so we'll pour that over the uh, top here my little container on the side with the um, little bit of a uh, paper towel down the bottom I'll put some ethyl acetate into it now okay I've given the jar a good uh, coating of ethyl acetate and we'll just simply drop in these little test pieces because I'm not really fussed how they how they come out it's just to uh, see whether it works or not okay now I'll be careful when I'm dropping it in because I don't want to crack the glass and shatter my hands I'll give it a few seconds to nice boiling water going down onto the ground here and right on my feet okay I'll just let the air a little bit out there and seal it okay and uh, so now we'll give it 20 minutes and we'll come back and uh, see what the result is as you just saw then the uh, gas is inside have expanded and popped out the the lid so that's a good sign okay, the uh, vapor bath has been running for the last half hour so time to pop it out that was the PLA with no coating of any description on it just put into the into the vapor bath and uh, where it was sitting in the excess liquid absolutely destroyed it so she's as soft as all billy o as you can see there i can push it around so still here really did nothing so that is a total waste of time with the vapor bath um, this one a little bit smoother perhaps but not much uh, still yeah uh, pretty pretty useless so on this one again total waste of time and the little benchy it's not as white as it was before it's a lot softer though but uh, again not absolutely useless i might actually give it one more coat of um of nail polish and see if that makes a difference i mean you never know maybe maybe it needs two coats of polish but at this point in time, um, yeah, I'm not um, not thinking it's going to be successful. So we'll do do the next coat just just to be on the safe side. I'll give it a good good lashing, good deep 
thick coat and uh, there we go that's a very good thick coat on there definitely smoother but as I said looking at it I um, I really wouldn't go out of my way and say it's successful it's definitely not so that is basically a total waste of time apart from the fact you've got a multi uh, colored uh, <laughs> benchy <laughs> which is a bit different <laughs> and the other side is a complete mess my final thoughts ethyl acetate total waste of time don't waste your money on it I spent $35 on that container thinking that it would uh, work really nicely and <laughs> it doesn't at least my girls will have something to uh, remove nail polish for the next four or five hundred years I mean that's handy but apart from that uh, there's a heap of uh, <laughs> ethyl acetate if anybody knows what I can do with it I greatly appreciate it pop a comment below and uh, thanks for watching